You had to reach the Soviet bar. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? <laughs> what you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he is stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got Come a job. on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Um... 
Lie. Yeah. Duga. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. Yeah. Так точно. We'll leave within the hour. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting is your, something? Though? Is your thing almost done? Oh. Alright. There's nothing I'll be back. Here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes? Hmm. 
Nem. That street dog should have been put down long ago. It's a KGB vet for nobody. <laughs> you remember <laughs> Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. <clears throat> the new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. green like nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make it happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. <laughs> we will watch the Empire of the United States under its own weight. A world with two I'm going to become a world with one. The Soviet Union. Nothing. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali, your Former friends killed him. No matter. Kasim was always a weak link, and the chain cannot break. This kid's just fucking sniping. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. Yes. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is Bro! Away, 
Our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future. One completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you! Kids just inner spawn fucking sniping. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, come on, you've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Sims, 
Get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. Contact! 
They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. My hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. 
What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. <laughs>